இங்கிலீஷ் சீனியர் மாடல் டெஸ்ட் திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் ஆஃப்டர் திஸ் யூனிவர்சிட்டி அசியூம்டு இட்ஸ் ப்ரசண்ட் ஃப்ரம் தேட் ஐ ஹேவ் கம் ஹியர் டு சே எ ஃபியூ வேட்ஸ் டு இட்ஸ் ப்ரொஃபஸர்ஸ் அண்டு ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அமங்கஸ்ட் த யூனிவர்சிட்டிஸ் விச் கேன் பி டெர்ம்டு நியூ இன் த சென்ஸ் தேட் நாட் ஈவன் ஹாஃப் எ செஞ்சுரி ஹேஸ் பாஸ்டு சின்ஸ் த இயர் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்மெண்ட் திஸ் யூனிவர்சிட்டி அக்செப்ட் த பனாரஸ் யூனிவர்சிட்டி மே பெர்கேப்ஸ் பி செட் டு பி த ஓல்டஸ்ட் பட் இட் வாஸ் ஓன்லி எ லிட்டில் டைம் எகோ தேட் இட் அசியூம்டு இட்ஸ் ப்ரசண்ட் ஃபார்ம் அண்டு ஃப்ரம் தேட் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் வியூ இட் மே பி செட் டு பி த யங்கஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த நியூ யூனிவர்சிட்டிஸ் நேச்சுரலி இட்ஸ் ட்ரெடிஷன்ஸ் ஹேவ் நாட் எட் பிகம் ஸோ ரிஜிட் அஸ் டு மேக் இட் டிஃபிகல்ட் ஃபார் இட் to move in any direction it juices for itself i therefore expect it to maintain a system of education which would enable it to fulfill all the purposes which education has in the life of man i have observed on several occasions and at several places previously that our present educational system whether of the primary or secondary schools or of the universities does not seem to be fulfilling those purposes and that at any rate it is not fulfilling those objectives in a balanced way with your permission i would like to say a few words about this question today in my view the objectives of education are three two of which relate more or less to the life of the individual as such while the third is concerned with his collective life its first objective is to enhance the power and the capacity of reason of the individual given to him by god it is true that reason is a gift made by nature or god to man at the time of his birth but in its pristine form its capacity and power and extremely limited if a person were to be left to depend on kiss untarted reason alone he would not be able to use it for any good to himself or to his fellows due to severe limitations of space and time but if this rational faculty is enriched by the accumulated experience of the past generations its power and capacity are increased very greatly for then the individual is able to grasp numerous truth of great utility relating to himself and the animate and inanimate world around him which he could not be possibly have landed by means of his own unaided reason because of other reasons the second objective of education is to train the senses of every individual human being as will enable him to employ them for fulfilling successfully all his physical and other needs while knowledge is no doubt essential for a proper employment of these organs their practical training is also necessary for the same purpose however vigorous or energetic a man may be he cannot effectively undertake any work unless his bodily organs are also properly trained and have some experience of that kind of work the third purpose of education in my view is that it should evoke in the individual the qualities necessary to enable him to live and work with his fellow beings whether a person likes it or not he has to live in society no one can wholly retire from the world and live in an isolated cottage of his own the life of complete solitude 
is nothing but a beautiful fancy of the poet it is not and cannot be a fact of life it is possible that an individual may live in solitude for a little time but he cannot do so far all his life so when collective life is an inevitable and inelectable fact of human life it is absolutely necessary that every individual should be fully conserve, conversant with the art of collective living in the ages gone by even the scale of collective life was quite limited and when economic processes had not become highly concentrated there was no great necessity for an organized effort to achieve these three objectives are to maintain at every instant a balance amongst them but today when the scale of collective life is almost worldwide and when economic processes have become yen concentrated beyond imagination it has become highly necessary to make intense efforts to help the individual realize these objectives in his life not only in the realm of mind but also in that of action so it is that in the past few decades people have been feeling in all parts of the world the necessity for a fundamental change in the educational system inherited by them from the past in fact we find that different kinds of changes have been taking place in the educational system of different countries of the world i would not be wrong if i say that in the educational sphere also a yeah, revolution has been taking place similar to that which has taken place in the economic and political spheres in our country and especially in the state of bigar unfortunately there has been no such fair reaching change in the spheres of better education yours too